Hello, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Mrs. Jukes, and I'm delighted to share with you today for our Jesse Advent calendar. You know, at my house, maybe it's like at your house, we're getting ready for Christmas, and nobody needs to even uh, say a word. It's obvious that we're getting ready for Christmas because we have symbols around our house that remind us that that Christmas is coming. For a long time, people have used symbols. Sometimes they even use those symbols before people could, could read. And that helps for children too, doesn't it? Sometimes children can't read yet. So we've been doing symbols on our Jesse tree. The symbol of the stump, the symbol of the watchtower, the symbol of, symbol of God's creation, and then yesterday of the fall. Today's symbol is something that many people will recognize. In fact, I think everybody will recognize this. Of course, this is a rainbow. Let's think about what this rainbow symbolizes and what message we learn from God. I'm going to read to you from Genesis 6, verse 11 through 9, uh, 9, chapter 9, verse 13. Of course, I won't read all of those verses. This will be just some of those verses. And this is the story of Noah's Ark. The flood continued 40 days on the earth, and the waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters swelled and increased so greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. The water swelled so mightily on the earth that all the high mountains under the whole heaven were covered, and the water swelled above the mountains, covering them fifteen cubits deep. And all flesh died that moved on the earth, birds, domestic animals, wild animals, all swarming creatures that swarm on the earth, and all human beings. Everything on dry land in whose nostrils was the breath of, breath of life died. That's what it says in the Bible. Now listen and let's think together. When God created Adam, he squatted down on the ground, took a bunch of dirt and mud, packed it together, and made it into the shape of a man. Then God leaned over it, and breathe God's own breath into Adam's nose, and Adam came to life. He lived because he had the breath of life in him. Now in this story, God takes the breath of life away. Everyone in the whole world was doing terrible things, and it broke God's heart. When God breathed life into Adam, he expected Adam and all the people after him to love each other and care for each other and res to respect and love God. But it didn't take long for people to start hating each other and hurting each other and not loving God either. In fact, it got to be so bad that God decided just to end it. So he flooded everything so that every animal and every person died except Noah, his family, and some pairs of animals. The very same breath that he breathed into Adam, God took away from everyone. God wanted to start fresh, and he did. God has given us a new kind of breath, Holy Spirit kind of breath. In a way, God has breathed into us just like he breathed into Adam. We live because we have the Holy Spirit, the breath of life in us. And so when we place this symbol of the rainbow on our Jesse tree, it will remind us of God's Holy Spirit breath that will live in us now and it reminds us of God's promise that he will never again destroy all of the earth with a flood. Now, I'm wondering a couple of questions. 
and maybe you'll talk about these with your family. I wonder, how does it feel to take a deep breath of fresh air? And then, what does Holy Spirit breath feel like inside you? I hope you enjoy your discussions together. Now, as we close, let's pray together. Dear God, you give the breath of life and you take it away. Would you fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can live in a way that shows our love for you and our love for other people? Amen. Have a great day. I've enjoyed spending time with you.